All right, all right, all right. We are back with the GSMC Wrestling Glory Podcast, brought to you by the GSMC Sports Network. I'm your host, Eric Rodriguez, here every Monday through Friday, 8 p.m. Pacific Time, 11 p.m. Eastern Time, here to talk about professional wrestling. So, uh, yeah, let's go to talk about it. Uh, just kind of reflecting what we talked about right quick. We had our AEW Dynamite review. We had our WWE. No, we had our Thursday Night Wrestling preview with Ring of Honor and TNA. We also talked about Brett the Hitman Hart and his, uh, you know, comments toward, uh, you know, uh, Vince McMahon. And uh, now we're going to talk about our uh, fourth segment, WWE Speed's Pros and Cons. So let's go in and talk about it. Let's go and talk about it. So obviously you've kind of seen, you know, everything, you know, that WWE spa- Speed Spain, Spain has to offer. Uh, we got a couple of chats right quick, though. We had, um, we have, I mean, I hate how it does like that. OBS, why? We had Logan James K commenting saying, you know, WWE and Marigold and Noah and, t- and the TNA's partnership. Um, I, I think he's talking about like the NXT partnership. And overall, I feel like it's been a great partnership. I feel like it's been very beneficial in terms of like, you know, talents like Joe Hendry, talents like, you know, the Rascals coming over. Jordan Grace is an amazing, absolutely star stunning uh, TNA Knockouts World Champion. I feel like she does deserve a lot more attention than sh- uh, what she gets. Next, we have Triple H to let uh, Kyrie Sang join, um, you know, Marigold because Triple H, you know, did not push Kyrie Sang. Um, I, I I feel like a thousand and ten percent Kyrie Sang does deserve. She deserves a push. You know, I feel like Damage Control. You know, Io Sky was the WWE Women's ta- uh, Women's World Champion. Sorry, excuse me. Women's no, the Women's WWE Champion. Uh, she lost it to Bailey at uh, WrestleMania 40. Uh, Bailey, I knew was kind of you know, I kind of knew she was gonna be like that bridge champion overall. And you know, Kyrie Sane coming into the WWE, she was impressive as hell. She was in the damn it, the May Young Classic, I think it was. I was going to say the Owen Hart Cup, but no, she wasn't in Owen Hart Cup. But, you know, Triple H does have a huge eye for talent. Like, he recently signed, like, a lot of international superstars, uh, you know, like like Julia, Stephanie Vercure, a lot of people, you know, returning to WWE, people, a lot of people, you know, being signed. Although I did not agree for them, you know, I did not agree for them not to sign back Ricochet. I feel like they should have, like, you know, kind of gave him the houseboat a little bit. Like they should have, I don't know. That's just my opinion. But um, I know Kyrie Singh is one of those talents, of course. I feel like that should be getting a lot more attention than it actually does. But um, yeah. All right. So we're going to talk about WWE Speed on Wednesdays. WWE and social media platform X slash Twitter. I still call it Twitter. It's that weird. I, you know, <laughs> the whole X thing is just not really my style. Uh, launched a new series called WWE Speed. The WWE Speed product is, um, you know, innovation. It could be, uh, you know, it could be thrilling, cutting edge, and it could be exciting. But I feel like, you know, it, it started off so, yes, it did. I believe that a thousand ten percent. Uh, because there are no entrances, the fighters, you know, being matched up. You know, there's images in the corner, kind of, you know, uh, um, resembling like uh, the resemblance of a ma- like uh, like a fighting game, like you had in WWE or Mortal Kombat or maybe even like those who uh, fought, you know, the, the Blade Street Fighter, uh, you know, could appear, could appeal to like the gaming community a little bit. Honestly, I don't believe that. I don't believe that at all, actually. Uh, but no, you know, as reported, <laughs> but no, it's kind of crazy. Um, there were, you know, they are only three minute matches to work with and they could be, it could be good, could be bad. You know, obviously... You know, giving people three minutes to work with, like you had Will Ospreay talk about his buddy Ricochet, how Ricochet deserves more respect than having three minute matches and, uh, you know, should come to AEW, which we eventually did. He signed, uh, you know, he signed today a multi year contract. So I thought that was actually pretty dope. But overall, I feel like WWE speed will get old. You know, you have a lot of the same superstars and with three minute matches, because usually on Monday Night Raw, NXT, SmackDown, the matches last from, you know, they sometimes two commercials. They could take up a lot of television time, a lot of television time and three minute matches. And you can't like take a break in between time. You know, like it's it just has things. It just seems like because 
you don't really have that notion. You don't really have that capability of adding in storylines or adding in people's different fighting styles because you basically have to hurry. It's only three damn minutes. Uh, overall, I feel like it's going to get old. I feel like it's going to get really, really competitive for uh, WWE fans. You know, some people might like it. Obviously, there's been speculation that WWE Speed was created for the new generation of wrestling fans, obviously, with the new day and age of the digital era in terms of technology, cell phones, social media platforms, tablets, streaming services, and stuff like that. Even music, even music. Now, like, I listen to Spotify and, like, I, you know, back back in the day, I used to have, like, like a portable CD player. You know, portable CD player, where I'd be like, oh, I want to listen to a specific song. All right, so I got to stop, take out that CD, make sure I don't scratch it, put it in a protective case, bring out a new one. Well, I kind of clean it a little bit so it doesn't skip. Put it in there. Bam. Oh, what was that track? Hmm, what track number was that? Was it 10? Put on 10, it wasn't 10. Oh, was it 11? Put on 11, it wasn't 11. Found out it was like freaking five. It's track five. So then you're like, oh, damn. Like, so you spend like literally like a good five minutes trying to find like a song. And nowadays with Spotify, you know, with iTunes, with Amazon Music, you can literally have exactly what you want and just the snap of the finger. Just the snap of the finger. That's it. You can create your own playlist. Bam, it's there. You can even have it offline. Bam, it's there. I got to be honest, sometimes people are so pissed off when their Spotify or their YouTube or just something doesn't work that they're trying to play music and they just get so pissed off. They're like, man, I hate technology. Like, dude, are you serious? Did you know exactly what we were dealing with when I was younger? Like, dude, you got to calm down. And a lot of this does reflect on, you know, future generations of wrestling superstars talking about WWE speed. I feel like ultimately, if you are a wrestling fan, I feel like you kind of know what to expect. You kind of, well, you know, what you expect is a lot of the storyline, the drama, kind of like that, kind of like that male, male soap opera kind of thing a little bit. And nowadays, it's just people are just so anxious. People want what they want. And, you know, obviously, you in terms of the wrestling promotions, you kind of see this WWE speed product. Like it was the, you know, it still averages about 1.8 million viewers which is amazing. But X, Twitter, you know, they've kind of had a bad rap in terms of, uh, you know, kind of keeping things, you know, kind of keeping streaming things and like naturally and, you know, kind of keeping that flow in terms, you know, with, you know, uh, I used to call it dial-up. That's crazy. Uh, <laughs> you know, now you, you kind of need internet services a little bit. I, I don't know. I feel like WWE speed overall could be better. It could be a hell of a lot better. But uh, I don't know. As of right now, I don't really get it. So, like I said, you have three minutes to kind of work a match. Uh, we also have um, superstars like Dragon Lee and Ricochet did start out inside. You know, they, they were the they, they were the inaugural match. So I feel like it kind of gave people the notion that every match was kind of going kind of going to be like this. But then you had bigger superstars come under the. You had Andrade. You also had Tommaso Ciampa. You saw Bronson Reed. And you know, in WWE Speed, it's called Speed. For a reason, not necessarily the time limit, because if it was about the time limit, if the time limit went out, you would essentially have some kind of like lingering stipulation or obligation that would happen if the time would have ran out on your WWE match. But now you kind of, you know, for me, I know that they're, you know, I know that I'm looking for speed and agility. This essentially, I feel like kind of took over 205 Live in my opinion kind of sucks but then again i kind of feel like the overall kind of created this for you know ricochet to come back to wwe but that did not happen kind of crazy um top wwe fans concerns about uh wwe speed wwe speed assumes that new wrestling fans can only watch something that doesn't last more than uh, you know three minutes uh, it's the illegitimate child of uh, the 24 7 champion it's a bastard child of 205 live you know, it's not a great way to support talent because you are only giving them three minutes to work inside of the ring. And some wrestling talent, you need more than three minutes. You know, you kind of pander around the ring a little bit, maybe slap their head on the apron, take them out, throw them against the barricade, you know, appeal to the crowd if you're a heel. It's all about the type of wrestler. It's all about the type. Some wrestlers cannot get away with this. 
That's why a lot of times when people saw Bronson Reed on WWE Speed, they're like, dude, like, you know, put this guy in a promo with somebody like Seth Rollins, with somebody like The Miz, with somebody like R Truth. You know, and, and, and the list goes on and on. And, you know, I, you know, a lot of people are, you know, really skeptical about WWE Speed. I don't know. It's it's kind of crazy. Right now, like I said, you know, they are for now gaining, uh, you know, good ratings. Um, but not essentially every match on WWE Speed. Is it going to be a match like Ricochet against Dragon Lee? Um, you see a lack of emotion to connection to the WWE superstars. Absolutely no storylines, you know. And, uh, you know, you could have 205 Live come back. Why not? Yeah. Would you sacrifice WWE Speed to have a WWE Cruiserweight Championship? I know I would, a thousand and ten percent. You know, eventually maybe you have two or five live come back, or maybe you see like a rebranding of the WWE Velocity. That could possibly be it as well. Um, you know, it's not made for people. It's not made for people with power. It's not made for people with power because essentially, what is the name of WWE Speed? Is that you want to see people who are agile jumping off the top row? Basically, what two or five live was. Speed doesn't. You know, it's not about power. You know, you have people like Bronson Reed go out there and it's uh, basically you're no one's going to pick them up. No one's going to knock down this big SOB. They're basically you're basically watching somebody to find out who has the fastest squash match in WWE. And I hate squash matches. Like when you see, you know, when you saw Braun Breaker, you know, debut in WWE, I was like, you better fight against somebody who actually has talent. Instead, it's like, oh, this local wrestler from Boston, Massachusetts wants to get, have his wrestling career begun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we all knew he was going to get his arse kicked. We all knew that was going to happen. And I don't want to pay to watch, like, squash matches. That's just not my style. I don't, I, 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 I don't want to see intricate matches like 205 Live had. And it was great. It was all, it was all gravy, baby. It was all gravy. All right, so we're going to dig on into our fifth and final segment. I'm rapidly running out of time here. We got my boy Emirates GSMC Soccer Podcast happening in 24 minutes, so we're going to kind of keep this. Now we're going to go into power mode a little bit. We're going to talk about the WWE Cruiserweights in 205 Live and where they are now. So, hey, do not go anywhere. 